Have you ever got stuck trying to open a PSD file on your mobile phone or let's say your client requested for an earlier project impromptu and you failed to deliver? Then say no more. Hello guys, welcome to another new series on my YouTube channel. My name is Denzel and today I'm going to show you how to open and edit Photoshop PSD files with just your mobile phone. In this video, I'll show you three different apps, two for Android, one for all devices, including iOS, also their pros and cons. So without wasting much of our time, let's get into this video. So the first app on the list is called PSD Viewer. It can be found on Play Store and also I'll put a link in the description below. Now I'll show you how to use this app to open PSD files. Unfortunately, this app can be only to use to view PSD files and save them in HD, but it still made the list because well, it's still good. You can only save this file as a PDF. Now here's the pros and cons you need to know. So the second app on the list is PSD file viewer. This is actually a good app. I also put the link in the description below. Now this app has a lot of ads that I've cut off for the sake of the viewers. Well, let's continue. The actual good thing about this app is that you can view the layers and save the layers separately as a, in a specified file type of your choice. As you can see, this is a separate layer. You can also view the metadata, but I guess we don't need it. Now you can save each layer or the whole document as a PDF, PNG, Web, P, GPG, or any file that you wish. Now the last app is called Photopea and there's something really special about this app. First is that it's more like Photoshop but for any device. I mean you can access it with any device of your choice including iOS. It has all features of Photoshop including layers, channels, bar. Over here you can see the window. Now let's Go over and open the PSD file. So yeah, the loading depends on the file size and also it might lag on low-end phones, to be honest. Over here you can see the layers and all of them are actually editable. You can turn off the layers to see. It's actually editable. 
for example, I'll change the color of that background. You can use the hex code or do it manually with the color palette. Yeah, as you can see, it's editing. This just feels like Photoshop for mobile phones. <laughs> so to show you it's fully editable, I'll just go over and place my own image here. Just use the open and place button there. Yeah. From your files, you can place your design or your mock-up because it's actually a mock-up. So I'm placing my design to show you that you can use this app and fully edit a PSD file with any device. Also, center. Then one thing about placing designs or mockups is that you have to save them. Yeah, you have to save them because like you do on your PC because if you don't say save it, the changes won't apply. Yeah. So you save it, save it as a small object. It's actually taking some time because um, it's a mobile phone, yeah. But it still works. So boom, yeah, the design has been placed. Um, actually, I'll make another tutorial about how to place designs on mockups, and also in that video, I'll give the link to a collection of free mockups you can use, whether you're designing on your mobile or on your tablet or on your PC. So, make sure to check out my channel by next week, I'll be dropping that video so you can save this file as in any file format you desire png, gpg, svg, pdf and even gif yeah it's quite crazy what you can use your mobile phones to do yeah like my friend old Netflix always says you don't need a pc to be awesome So once you press the save button, it just downloads into your mobile phone. Yeah, so I guess this will be the end of the tutorial. And yeah, here are the pros and cons. But this is your best bet when it comes to edit. So if you've been watching this video up to this point, I want to use this medium to say a big thank you. And also this video actually took me quiz to make considering I'm using a mobile phone for it. <laughs> so if you found this video useful or helpful, please help me broadcast it to other viewers by just popping the like button below and subscribing if you can. Thanks. Peace out.